Today, I want to go over the Facebook ad library, also called the meta ad library as well. So if you go to facebook.com slash ads slash library, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. And what you can do to go over this pretty quickly is you can search for specific ads using either advertisers or keywords. So you first select your location and then you select your ad category. There's five options. So there's four options that are a little bit more sensitive ad categories. And then at the very top is all ads. So if you're looking for a specific advertiser, you want to select all ads here. So let's just say I want to look up the ads that Gap is running. What you can do is just search for a specific advertiser. Now they may have multiple pages, so you may need to find the correct page. Make sure that you are using their uh, their main Facebook page so you can actually see the ads that are running from their main Facebook page. These are ads that were launched in December 2023. And if we scroll down here, what you can see is you can actually see their advertising creative, you can see their landing pages, you can see the ad copy that they're using. So if I come over here and you can see our must have best selling cash soft knit now in your favorite winter neutrals so we can see the ad copy here if we click on the video it'll actually start playing the video we can expand the video and watch the full video and then the other thing that we can do is if we click on shop now we can actually see the landing page where they're sending traffic to so this can be really useful if you're looking for any type of inspiration for your facebook ads campaigns and you can use your actual competitors to see what they are doing on facebook as well so one of the companies that i follow um, is the Ridge. So they, they make the, they're known for the Ridge wallet, but they have a lot of other products as well. So I follow them a little bit just to look at some of the things that they're doing because I know they spent a lot of money on Facebook ads. Now, one thing you may do is if you come up here and you're searching and you search Ridge, 11 more advertisers, you don't see it, go to their page and make sure you have the correct page name here. Because even though their URL is facebook.com slash Ridge, their page name is actual actually the Ridge. So you, if you're having trouble finding an advertiser, you need to enter exactly what their page is. And what you want to look for always are these little blue check marks because that means it's a verified page. So if we come in here to the Ridge, what we can do is we can see all of the ads that they are running when they started. So they have about 140 results launched December 2023. You can also look for specific keywords. So if you want to look at specific products, um, I'll go over an example for that in a little bit. Um, but if we scroll down here, we can see how they are actually running their advertising. Say goodbye to the limited edition Hyper Lime Ridge Wallet. Grab it now before it's too late. Save 30% off wallet plus key case kit. So you can see how it looks. They have their reviews at the bottom here. If we click on shop now, again, we can see their landing page. No, they are not paying when we click on shop now, but we can see exactly what they are promoting, how they are promoting it, and the angles that they're taking. So save 30% off is one of the promotions that they are running for this specific product. So it can be really useful, especially if you want to look Look up either you want to get creative ideas or you want to get ideas for what some of your competitors are doing. So the other thing that you can do with the Facebook ads libraries, you can get some more information about companies that are running ads related to issues, elections, or politics. So I just went to United States, issues, elections, or politics from the drop down, and I just searched election. So I found this here. I don't know who this is. This is not an endorsement whatsoever. But what you can do is you can actually see the ads that are being ran by specific political pages and some of the different goals that they have. So I found this one here. It's Mayor Gil McDougal. So I just went to the Facebook ad library. If you search for the specific page, so this is just what I want to show you. You can actually search for the specific page up here for the issues, elections, or politics, and you get a lot more information here. So what you can see are their ads, so all of their ads that are running. You can see through the about page, there's a lot more information as far as page transparency, though. So the history of the page, pages and accounts, organizations that manage it, people who manage it, some different disclaimers as far as, far as funding sources, how much they have spent. So this page has only spent $487, so it's not like they're spending a ton of money. And then you can actually see audience data. So they've only, they haven't spent a ton of money, but if we just go last 90 days, the amount that they spent, they've ran eight ads, so not a whole lot. You can see the location of their ads. You can see the age of the ads that they're running, the gender of the ads that they're running, detailed targeting. If they're using it, they are not using detailed targeting. If they specified a certain language, they did not. Um, they are using custom audiences. So they have a custom audience included, a customer list custom audience included as well. So no custom audiences excluded. They did not use lookalike audience settings either. So I just want to go through some of the different things you can see. If you are somebody who runs a lot of political ads, you can actually get a lot of information about either competitors or really anything that you want to look up related to issues, elections, or politics. So let's go through a few different examples and some different ways that you can also use this. So let's come back to the homepage of the Facebook ads library. 
Um, one of the things I did want to show you is they do have some search tips here. So they have some targeting data for ads about social issues, elections, or politics. That's just what I showed you. If you go to the advertiser page, select that audience tab, and you can see more of targeting data. They didn't have a ton of different targets, so you don't see a lot, but you can see that if you are looking for that information. Location and ad category are the first things you need to set when you search, and then you can also use an exact phrase. So if you're looking for specific way, specific words in a specific order, their example here is Mary likes cheese sandwiches. I don't even know if anything will come up like that. You can also search for multiple exact phrases. So Mary likes cheese sandwiches on rye bread. You can also do words in any order, find ads that contain these words, but not necessarily in any order. So sandwiches, cheese, marry. So it really, you could just see some of the different ways to use the searching <coughs> if you want to look for ads by a specific uh, keyword. Now, one of the things you can also do is saved searches. So if you want to save specific searches for advertisers that you're looking at, or if you're looking for specific keywords that people are actually typing in, that's something that you can do. So one of the things that I use this for sometimes is if I have a client reach out to me and they are in a specific industry, what you can actually do is look at some of the leaders in that industry and see what they are actually doing. So one of the examples here is the joint chiropractic. So let's come over to the Facebook ads library here and let's do a quick search. So we're going to do United States for the country for ad category. We're going to select all ads. And then what we can do is we can select the joint Cairo. And what we want to look for is the blue check mark. And if we don't see it, sometimes what I'll do is I will go directly to their Facebook page. So I open their Facebook page here, copy this up here, or try to copy the exact page name. So if you copy this up here at the top, uh, the actual URL, sometimes it tends to give you. So here's the actual page here. So you're looking for those blue check marks because there's a lot of local pages because they have a lot of franchises. So we're looking for the main page. And you can see they're running about 11 results for December 2023. If we scroll down, we can see how they are advertising. $29 new patient special, regular visits as low as, let's open this, and we can see their landing page. So their landing pages matches the offer. Really good advertisement here overall because you have a seamless experience. $29 new patient special. They send you to a landing page. $29 new patient special. Claim your offer now. Go through these steps here, and you can actually claim your offer pretty easily. So I'm assuming these ads probably drive them some pretty good leads. The other thing you can see expert care everywhere. If we click on learn more, it'll show the landing page. So you can see some of this information. We can also click on see ad details and it will open up the advertisement, give you a little bit more information. The ad has four different versions here. Um, and then we can see some of the ad copy that they're using, the platforms they're running on when the ad started running. And it also obviously shows ads has multiple versions. So about this advertiser, we'll give you a little bit more information if you want to see their Instagram or their Facebook page. More info, we make quality chiropractic care convenient and affordable for those seeking pain relief and prevention. So if we come over here, the way that I use this is generally to say, okay, what kind of ads are they running? What offers are they running? What do their landing pages look like? What does their ad copy look like? So that's generally what I'm looking for when I'm, when I'm trying to see what an advertiser is doing. You can see we can't see the audience data for this advertiser because they are not in the issues, elections, or politics tab. So just because they are on all ads doesn't mean we can uh, see all that information. So we don't know who they're targeting, but not really uh, as important sometimes as actually seeing the creative, the offers, and, and some of the different things that advertisers are doing. So the way that you can use keywords sometimes, and the example I have here is for Robinhood. Um, so I had it saved here, one of the save searches down here at the bottom. So the reason you may want to look up a specific thing, let's just say I'm, I'm watching a stock investing app, which I'm not, but let's just say I am, I go to Google, I look up stock investing app. I want to see who is advertising here and then say, let's see if they are also advertising on Facebook. So let's look up Robin hood. Let's see if they are advertising on Facebook. Of course they are approximately 110 results for their advertisements. So what you can do with keyword over here is you can say, I wanna know if they are offering things related to stocks, uh, related to maybe um, ETFs, mutual funds. Maybe you wanna see, are they running ads related to Bitcoin or cryptocurrency? So we'll do a quick search for Bitcoin. And now it'll pull up any of their advertisements that are related to Bitcoin. So approximately 64 results here. And if we come down here, we can see some of the different things that they are talking about. 
Now, again, not an endorsement for Bitcoin or crypto, just showing you an example of how to use some of these different keyword searches if you want to actually narrow down some of the ads that your competitors are running so you can see the different angles that they're taking. If we scroll down here, we can see their advertisements. Again, if you're looking for more information about individual ads, click on See Summary Details. It will pull up some more information about their ads, and then you can also see Ad Details, and that will pull up the advertisement larger as well. And then what we can see is their ad copy here. Scroll down, earn 5%, sign up, see their landing page. So you can see all of this information directly in the Facebook ads library. So this is how I generally use it for the most part. You can save searches over here, create a unique name for this search, and that will allow you to see ads at any time for some of your competitors. If you wanna look up ads for stocks or ETFs or Bitcoin or whatever it may be, you can save that search as well. And then when you go into save searches, you can actually see all of those searches there. Now, last but not least, what you may find sometimes, so sometimes what I'll do is, and I don't really do this too often for actual Google Ads, but since I offer Google Ads services, let's say Google Ads Management Company here. So we'll look at who is actually running Google Ads here. So we have Linear Design, we have Agency PPC, we have Smart Sites. So then if you come over here to the Facebook Ad Library, let's just say, what was it, Linear Design? And we'll see if we can find their Facebook page. Don't know if any of these are correct. Um, one of the ones I saw was Hawk SEM. That was up there as well. So we'll search Hawk SEM. So we can see this is an advertising agency. If we click on it, zero results. That just means they are not advertising. So what you can always do is you can search if you're looking for something specific. So let's just say I'll do quotes and we'll do Google ads and we'll see what comes up for this. Probably get some from actual Google ads themselves. Okay, so we can see the ads that Google ads is running. So if we scroll down, we'll start to probably see some other pages that are running advertisement. Okay, so we're starting to see some other pages here. So you can see some of the angles that some people are taking if they're advertising something specific like this. So some of these are in other languages. That's perfectly fine. Just not, not a language I'm able to actually read. So... Um, yeah, so you see a lot of the different ads here. Um, and generally, the reason why I like using the Facebook ads library, if people are running a lot of ads related to something specific, and it generally means that they're driving results. So if you're not seeing ads from specific advertisers or for specific types of you know, Google ads management or something like that. So let's just see if we search Google ads management, if anything comes up. Okay, so approximately 570 results, and now you can see some of the different ads that are running here, struggling with Facebook ads. My recommendation is whatever your business, make sure you're taking advantage of Google right now. We're scaling e-commerce brands, um, a digital marketing, Google ad services at affordable cost, starting at $99 per month. So you can see some of these different ads that are running. MyAdsAI.com, transform the way you advertise with our specially crafted ad management package now for $9.97 per month. So social media and Google ads, and they're showing their pricing there as well. So some of the different ways that people may be running ads, you can always get ideas by going to the Facebook ads library. And at any time, if you come back over here, they also have a lot of information on the main page as you scroll down. So this goes over the ad library at the top. This is where you search for ads. This is where you can see your saved searches. And then you can explore some other tools. Download information and track spending for ads about social issues, elections, or politics. They have a report here. Customize your own search using the ad library API. This is a, you know, people for know a little bit about how programming works. I don't use the API really because I, I tend to find everything I need using the search bar. We keep scrolling down, search for branded content. Use the branded content search to find post stories, videos, and reels on Facebook and Instagram that involve a paid partnership. Anyone wants to see content from a creator who work together with a business. So for influencer marketing and things like that, branded content can be really useful. And then they have some frequently asked questions at the bottom here. So if you have any questions about using the Facebook ads library and some of the things you can look up, I wanted to keep this video pretty simple, but if you go to all ads, you can look up any keyword or advertiser in your location and see the different ads that they're running. Ads that have run anywhere in the European Union in the past, European Union in the past year will show up as you do your searches if you are searching through the European Union. So these are some different examples and ways that I use it. You can use it to uh, find what some competitors may be doing if you're working with clients, competitors may be doing if it's for your own business. You can see some of the angles that different companies are taking. And you can also look up the ads that are being ran by some of the companies that you follow just if you want to look at more data about people who are advertising a lot on Facebook. So that's the Facebook ads library. Again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.